hello and welcome back to the channel today we have another standalone video and we're gonna try some Japanese snacks so here we have a spicy crisp and wasabi nuts plus some jam filled biscuits now we only have three different snacks but I didn't want this video to be too long so let's begin with the spicy crisp okay let's start Oh, wow, okay. Okay, let's put this aside. Oh, that itch. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna rip it this way. Okay. Really strong packaging, by the way. Okay. Okay, I can already smell the flavor. Ooh. Okay, is it, is it gonna be spicy? It doesn't look spicy, but let's see. Ooh, it's very hard. It's really nice though. It's very hard to... I thought it'd be much more softer, but it has a hard texture to it. Okay, I can keep on eating this, so... Okay, I do. It's not as spicy. Uh, it's not as spicy as I thought, but you still have a good flavor to it. From this packaging, you'd expect this to be very spicy, and the coloring of the crisp, but it's not as spicy. But I don't know how other people will perceive this as. So that was a crisp packet. Now, we are gonna save this last because I know this is all. I have already tried this before. So we're gonna get this strawberry filled biscuits or buns. Not sure exactly what it is. So let's try. Oh, okay. Comes in packets. I think there are 12, 12 in this packet. Okay. So this is how it looks. Ooh, <laughs> smells so good. Just like a, a cream and strawberry. Wow. Okay, this smells really good. So it is like a soft biscuit type. It's a good, good, good shape. Hmm. Yes, this one is really good. I mean, from the image. Oh, from the image, you would expect to see like strawberry jam sort of filling, but you only get. Just the cream and strawberry flavor. So, I mean, the taste is really good, but this is misleading. They probably just want to advertise the strawberry flavor to it. It's really good though, really good. Kind of pin it to stop. So far, out of these two, this is my favorite one. The strawberry filled buns. And now, finally, the wasabi nuts. Let's go for it. Right. Let's get a whiff of this. Okay, you can't smell it as much as that. Right, so one of these wasabi looking nuts. Mm. 
Ooh. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. The, the spice just kicks in straight away as soon as you put it on the tongue. But it's really good. Even after you eat it, the spice still stays in your mouth. It's like it's like English mustard. You can't. Oh. <laughs> so sometimes the spice goes up on your nose as well. Oh. Okay, you need water for this. Oh. Oh. <laughs> You can't eat a lot of these, but but it's really good though. If it, oh. <coughs> see, with these type, you can only consume a little by little, and to get the real taste of it, you just take it in slowly. So if you want a snack but you don't want to finish it quickly, but you like the snack as well, this is the best option. <laughs> because the spice actually kicks in every time you put it in your on your tongue. And if you suck it as well, it, it, it just accelerates the spice even more. But if you just try and eat it quickly, the spice doesn't exist as much as before. By far, oh! So, out of these three, my favorite one would be this one. Just because it has a good kick to it and you can have, you won't consume it as quickly as the others. This one is my second one, and this will be my third. This, just because I just love sweet things and strawberry, so this just goes, just one of my favorites. This, I don't prefer as much as the other two but I would just buy it just for quick snacks. So yes, that was, that was fun. So yes, that was my little Japanese tasting video and hopefully I can get more of these snacks for next time I do one of these videos. Now go out there and try some Japanese snack and remember to subscribe to Chitties.